Hello, this is Simon and welcome to this video. We're going to show you how to configure your Gmail account so you can send and receive email from another email client such as Outlook Express, Outlook 2003, Thunderbird. There's actually a large list of email clients you can do this for, each of them having a slightly different uh, configuration on the client side. So there's actually two parts you need to do. You need to log into your Gmail account, that's part one, and change the settings so you can actually send and receive using POP. POP sends for post office protocol and it's just a simple protocol and one way to send and receive email. So logged into your Gmail account, go to the upper right portion, click on settings. And you'll see there's a forwarding and POP IMAP link, click on that. And you'll see currently POP is disabled. So we have two options. We can enable POP for all mail, which means mail in our existing inbox and other folders, or enable POP for mail that arrives from now on. So let's click on that, and you'll see on the second option, there's a couple options we can choose from. Three in total. We can keep Gmail's copy in the inbox, archive Gmail's copy, or delete Gmail's copy. I like to have a copy in my Gmail inbox in addition to my email client. And then we'll now click on Save Changes. So we're going to add our Gmail account to Outlook 2003. You want to go to the Tools menu and drop down to Email Accounts. And we're going to add a new email account. Click Next. And we want to pop three as our selection. Click on Next. And we're going to enter our name. I'm going to enter Simon. And we're going to enter our Gmail account, Simon's Tech Tips at gmail.com. The incoming mail server will be pop.gmail.com. Outgoing mail server will be smtp.gmail.com. Your username will be the same as your Gmail account. I'm at text at gmail.com. Password will be your Gmail account password. Make sure we remember password. We're going to go to more settings. And of course, the mail account is a name that we can give it. I'm going to give it my Gmail account. And then for the outgoing server, we're going to make sure that my outgoing SMTP requires authentication. I'm going to leave it the way it is here. Use the same settings as my incoming mail server. And under the advanced, we have to change these ports. So let's change the incoming server POP to 995. Make sure that we click on the SSL. The server requires an encrypted connection. And for the outgoing, we're gonna make sure we add 465. And of course, this server requires an encrypted connection SSL. And then click OK. So I would strongly recommend before you finish this, you click on test account settings. Due to the way my firewall is set up, this will not work, but you want to make sure that all your test settings work. If they do, great. If not, make sure you verify that these settings are correct. And of course, make sure all your patches of the date, especially on the Office 2003 side. Click on Next, and we'll click Finish. So this concludes this video on how to configure Outlook 2003 to send and receive email from your Gmail account.